Hi there my magical star beings, this is Psychic Siren Tarot and welcome to the channel. In today's reading we're going to be taking a look at what would your celebrity crush think of you? So we have four piles to choose from. Please be aware that this is a general reading so only take what resonates, leave the rest. For pile number one we have the Goldstone Crystal with the Mythos Tarot. For pile two we have the Rose Quartz Heart with the moon dust tarot and for pile three we have blue highlight with the muse tarot and for pile four we have strawberry obsidian with the queer tarot so i'm going to give you a few seconds to pick a pile Pick whichever pile you're most drawn to, the one that is standing out to you the most, and that will be a pile for today. Once you're done picking a pile, please find the timestamps for your pile in the description box below, and then I'll see you at your reading. Hi there my pile number ones, if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button if you want to stay up to date with what I post daily and if you like tarot content. I am going to be doing a giveaway when I reach 25k subscribers to show and express my love and gratitude for you all and for your support. So if you'd like to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is comment on any of my recent uploads. So you chose the Goldstone Crystal and the Mythos Tarot. We're going to be taking a look at if you were to meet your celebrity crush, what would they think of you? So let's go ahead and shuffle your cards and see what shows up here for you. So Spirit Guides of Pile number one, Spirit Guides of Pile number one, so the first card you have is the Five of Swords. Second card you have is the Seven of Pentacles. What would their celebrity crush think of them if they were to meet? We have the Seven of Swords. The Page of Swords. The Chariot. And Judgment. Okay, at the back of the deck, we do have the Nine of Swords. So, one thing I see, honestly, is... Does your celebrity crush already have somebody in their life? And, you know, I I'm kind of seeing this energy of, like, your celebrity crush maybe having a girlfriend or a boyfriend already. But it's sort of like when they meet you, they're going to feel attracted to you. They're going to find you seductive in some way, although you're not trying to seduce them in any way. It's kind of like just talking to you. They feel attracted to you. The reason I say so is with this specific tower deck, she looks very sensual here. And the seven of swords, five of swords makes me think of somebody that's maybe already in a relationship. Um feeling almost like tempted because the apple here reminds me of temptation right so could it be possible that they already have a girlfriend or boyfriend and if it's not in the public maybe there's a secret boyfriend or girlfriend that they have this is actually quite interesting so your celebrity crush would think you're quite attractive in some way. I see your celebrity crush being that type of person when they do meet and greets and when they meet their fans. I see them being that type of person that likes to keep it strictly work, strictly business. Um, of course, they like to chat and get to know their fans, but also they don't want to get too close you know what I mean, for privacy reasons, because I feel like this celebrity is very private, is very mysterious, wants to hold certain things within their life, um, not being out to the public, if that makes sense. So it's almost like when they meet you, it's sort of like they feel like crossing that line of just business, which is why they start to feel a little bit of fear, like, oh my gosh, I have, I have this attraction towards this person that I'm not supposed to be having. With a chariot here, of course, this could represent your celebrity crush traveling all over the world or just traveling a lot for business. 
and meeting you in some way. And I feel like they would try to get to know you. They would try to talk to you, find out who you are. Okay, let's get some more cards. So what would their celebrity crush think of them if they were to meet their celebrity crush? We have the Nine of Wands. We have the King of Cups. We have the Ace of Swords. We have the Six of Cups in the reverse. And we have the Nine of Swords. Okay. I promise you, I'm not trying to sell you dreams with what I'm about to say next. I'm not making this up. I'm really seeing it within the cards. I wouldn't just make things up for no reason. What I'm basically seeing here, as unbelievable as this may sound, your celebrity crush, if you were to meet them, it almost feels like they would start to gain feelings for you. They would start to sort of like have you on their mind for a long time not be able to get you off their mind. And you know what Spirit showed me? A Cinderella story, like when he tried to find her with a shoe. So it's kind of like your celebrity crush. It seems like they would crush on you too, which is actually quite cute and sweet. <laughs> I can imagine somebody writing a book about this. This seems so cute. Yeah, there is a problem or a challenge here where it's like they try to to get you off their mind but they can't and with the six of cups reverse it's like it's like not being able to move on nine of swords is being worried about what may happen due to this because i feel like your celebrity crush is a loyal person you know when they date somebody they're not the type of person that goes behind their back and does anything i don't feel that from your celeb celebrity crush's energy I feel like they're very loyal. So I feel like, you know, since they're crushing on you, hypothetically, it's kind of like they're feeling worried that somebody may find out or that it just causes them problems later on within their career or their partnership. I almost wanted to say marriage. So maybe for someone here, your celebrity crush is married. So let's get some more cards. Next, we have the Queen of Wands. We have the Ten of Cups. We have the Three of Cups. The Eight of Wands. So I actually think that your celebrity crush, if you had to meet them, they would want to form a friendship to you with the Three of Cups here. They would try to not make it anything more than that, but I feel like they would try to become friends with you in some way, shape, or form, or they would try to, you know, like, kind of have you around them a little bit more, because the Four of Pentacles is at the back of the deck. So this kind of, to me, reminds me of, you know, wanting to keep somebody by your side. That's how I see the Four of Pentacles in these types of reading when it has to do with people, like, wanting to hold on to that person into our life. Uh, I hope that makes sense. But it's almost like your celebrity crush would think of you as somebody extremely bold, somebody confident. That's how they would see you. They would see you as somebody that is also very funny and lighthearted, very spontaneous, free-spirited. Your celebrity crush would also think of you as somebody that's very delicate, I hear, and gentle, I feel like they'd see something in you, like some kind of star quality within you, is what I'm hearing from spirit. It almost feels like they'd see something within you and try to sort of build you up to their level, almost like a mentor I'm seeing something like that. So let's say you're talented at something. And even if you're not, maybe they just see something within you. Like maybe they find you so beautiful that or so handsome that 
they try to get you into a modeling agency or something like that because it sort of feels like spirit is showing me a mentorship like I see something in you I see something great in you and I want to sort of transform you into that because I see that greatness and that potential so that is what your celebrity crush would try to do and the ten of cups here would represent a long-term connection so um, as well as the three of cups being next to this I feel like your friendship would last for many years it would last maybe a long time they would try to keep in touch with you and with the eight of wands this would happen very quickly within your meeting it's like they wouldn't want to let this opportunity pass by because there's also something about your celebrity crush having certain connections, which is what Spirit is telling me, where they may also benefit from getting you into the industry in some way, um, like a win-win situation where you win from you know, being put out there. It's like they see you as somebody that's meant to be seen with the Queen of Wands here. Queen of Wands is a very bold energy that is meant to be seen, right? And it's like a win-win situation for both of you. That's how they're perceiving it. They also view you as very graceful in some way. Very kind too. It's like they'd see you as somebody they can have a deeper emotional connection to friendship-wise. They would try to not let it cross any lines but there is still some sense of attraction here and they would find your soul and your personality so interesting and so beautiful. So let's get some more cards. What else? We have the Ten of Wands in the reverse. We have the Ace of Wands in the reverse. The Four of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles and the page of wands so even with the ace of wands reverse what i'm basically getting here is for some of you listening to this reading being like you know i don't really have any talents i don't know what they would see in me uh it's kind of like maybe maybe you see that in yourself but how this person sees it is anybody can learn with a page of wands here anybody can learn and if you have the right teacher to teach you all the things you need to know then you are able to succeed if you have a passion for it that's what i'm basically intuitively getting from the page of wands ace of wands reverse ten of wands reverse i'm kind of intuitively getting this feeling of you being like why me what's what's special about me um, but it's almost like this person sees something within you that you may not see fully within yourself. And it's like there's a sense of optimism here. Like, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm seeing. I know the potential I see. And I have optimism about the future for this. So I see your celebrity crush thinking that. Even though you might be like, to your celebrity crush, why but what what can i do that's actually you know good or actually talented uh it's kind of like they just see that potential within you to succeed or to actually make it big within that industry that's actually quite cool i never expected a reading like this it's like they'd also think of you as somebody so playful. I feel like you and your celebrity crush, if you had to be friends, it's like you'd have your own little inside jokes. You'd video call over the phone sometimes. Um, your celebrity crush is a very busy person, so I don't think you'd video call or chat all the time, but maybe like once a week is what spirit is showing me if you had to you know meet them and be friends with them in some way and i almost see your celebrity crush even trying to prove things to others that you're worth it because i'm currently seeing you know for example when you're at f at a at a studio for example your celebrity crush doesn't have to be a singer but spirit is just showing me this example and somebody you know presents a song or something and you know maybe the people there like it but they don't know how well it will do consistently 
And then I almost see your celebrity crush almost like pushing them and like praising you in front of them and saying, uh, this person's worth it. I see that type of energy. So it's like they see something in you that you may not see within yourself. They see a lot of potential within you. That is how your celebrity crush would see you. They would also think of you as somebody loyal and generous and somebody that um, they would want to keep around them for a long time, consistently. They also would see you as somebody that's consistent in some way, like what your celebrity crush would also like about you is I feel like if you were to meet them, it, it feels like you're not too all over them. Um, it feels like you're a little bit distant at first, but not too much. It's like you're showing your liking towards the celebrity crush, but you're also not fanning too much to the point where it makes them uncomfortable in your first meeting. So it's almost like your celebrity crush likes you more because of that. Because I feel like this celebrity crush doesn't like when people are too all over them or touch them or, you know, like, not that they don't want their fans to be excited. It's just like they don't like it when there's just too much of that. Because I feel like your celebrity crush is a very humble person. They don't necessarily see themselves as a celebrity. They don't necessarily see themselves as somebody to be praised in any way. Um, so because of that, it makes them a little bit uncomfortable because they don't necessarily want to be put on a pedestal is what I'm hearing from Spirit. So this is what I see in your reading. Very interesting reading that I did not expect. I really hope you enjoyed this and that this resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Hi there my Palama 2s. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please consider hitting the subscribe button if you like tarot content and if you'd like to stay up to date with what I post daily. I am going to be doing a giveaway when I reach 25k subscribers, so if you'd like to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is comment on any of my recent uploads. So you chose the Rose Quartz Heart and the Moon Dust Tarot. Let's go ahead and look into what would your celebrity crush think of you if you were to meet. So let's go ahead and see what shows up for you. So Spirit Guides, oh my gosh. So we have the death card showing up already. Spirit guides of pile number two. Spirit guides of pile number two. What would their celebrity crush think of them if they were to meet their celebrity crush? So we have the Empress showing up next. We have the Ace of Swords. We have the Nine of Cups. And we have the Hanged Man. At the back of the deck, we do have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so one thing I do see about your celebrity crush is they feel like it's a dream come true in terms of whatever they're doing right now. So whatever they're talented at, whatever they're good at, whatever they're being seen for, they feel so lucky and they feel so blessed that they get to do this, that they get to meet their fans, that they even get to have, you know, this kind of platform or this kind of influence and this kind of fame. And I don't necessarily see your celebrity crush being an egotistical person, but it's, I just saw two, two, two on the timer. So it almost feels like this celebrity crush, um, feels like this is their destiny to share their talent or to share whatever they do here and it feels like a dream come true for them it feels very surreal for them being able to be in the spotlight and being recognized for their talents or for their gifts they view it as whatever they're doing is a gift they're meant to be sharing with the world 
Um, though what I will say about your celebrity crush is they're very careful of people because I feel like your celebrity crush has money. Definitely, I'm seeing that. But it's almost like there have been a lot of opportunistic people around your celebrity crush. Even other celebrities have tried to sort of mooch off this person or use this person in ways. And I almost see your celebrity crush being a lot more discerning when it comes to people because of this. Very guarded because of this where they want to make sure the person has genuine intentions before they get too close. Especially when it comes to other celebrities. With fans, they understand that fans genuinely want to see them. And yeah, but then there are also some fans that maybe um, throw themselves at this person I'm seeing. <laughs> uh, but with you, I feel like it's almost like your, your celebrity crush sees you as very gentle, very kind-hearted. It's like your energy seems very soothing to this person. And they really like your vibe and your energy that you bring when you first meet them, if you were to meet them. They would think that your conversations are quite interesting in some way. It's like, I see you and them talking in some way and you're speaking about yourself, you getting to know your celebrity crush a little bit too, maybe asking them certain questions of things you've always wanted to know. I see a conversation happening between the two of you, not just like you two taking a picture together. Even if it's a five minute conversation, I still see a conversation being had. And I see the celebrity crush thinking of you after the meeting and smiling to themselves because I'm clairvoyantly seeing somebody leave and go home and then think of the conversation you had and smile to themselves, that they really enjoyed meeting you in that situation. And I feel tears of joy coming on. So after your meeting, it seems that your celebrity crush will have certain tears of joy, not just because of you, but just because of how lucky they are and how blessed they are to be able to have this dream come true. So I see your celebrity crush is actually somebody that has a lot of gratitude, which is a good thing to see. With the Empress here, they'd also find you quite beautiful, beautiful soul, like not in a sense of attraction per se, but more so finding you more so admiring you from afar, um, appreciating your beauty physically, but also internally. It seems like they think you're very soft-spoken, that you're very kind, very nurturing. And they'd also think that you have maybe transformed a lot within your own life, gone through a lot of endings, but also transformations. I think your celebrity crush would also see you as very smart and wise. And they'd also see you as somebody that can communicate well. They'd also see you as somebody that just knows how to make other people comfortable. Like I said, your celebrity crush usually has a guard up, but with you, you make them so comfortable and feel at ease with your soothing energy that they don't necessarily even have a guard up. And later on, they realize, whoa, I felt so comfortable and at ease around this person. That usually doesn't happen with me. I see them thinking that to themselves. Next, we have the Knight of Wands. We have the Fool. We have the Six of Pentacles. And we have the King of Pentacles. What did I tell you? It's like people are constantly looking for things from this person. Um, even when fans sometimes meet this person, it's like oh, can I share this with you? I wrote a song or like, it's always something even other celebrities try to sort of mooch off this person. And they are a very generous person. They don't mind helping people that they see um, something within. But it also gets a little bit tiring for this person. Like everybody just wants to be around me because of the status, because of the money, who is truly and genuinely my friend. So I feel like your celebrity crush kind of struggles with that right now at the moment, like feeling like they don't really have genuine friends around them. 
and feeling like people kind of just want them for something and not really for genuine intentions. And that is something they are currently trying to avoid, trying to have more boundaries up I hear. So with the full card and the six of pentacles, I sort of feel because you're not looking for anything per se from this person, I see them maybe giving you something. Maybe they give you words of advice. Maybe they give you a gift because I'm seeing a necklace. Maybe they, I don't know what it is, but I see them giving you something either tangible or non-tangible. Um, because I see your celebrity crush being generous and because you're not necessarily looking for anything from them, material-wise, it's like they're generous with you. So that's very interesting. And in the full card, it's kind of like your celebrity crush views you as very adventurous views you as the type of person that may be a risk taker with the knight of wands you may be seeming very what's the word ambitious to your celebrity crush and the type of person that would take certain risks but good risks to get where you want in life with your ambition your celebrity crush would also see you as quite generous in some way and they'd feel like that's a similarity you have that they really like I also see your celebrity crush thinking that you're somebody very free. Like, when they're around you, they just feel free and maybe you're somebody that values your own freedom. I hear non-conforming, rebellious in some way, and that's something they actually like about you. So what would their celebrity crush think of pile number two, please? We have the Seven of Cups showing up next. So it's sort of like your celebrity crush would have different sort of impressions of you, but they're not really sure which ones are true or if it's just an impression they have of you. Um, The Six of Cups is at the back of the deck and what I'm about to say sounds even crazy, like... What I'm about to say sounds crazy. I'm just going to say that before I say it. I wouldn't say something that isn't true. But it's almost like your celebrity crush would see you as somebody familiar to them. Uh, you know, when they meet you, I feel them asking you, have I met you before? Or thinking in their head, something about them seems so familiar, but I can't put my finger on it. Like, it feels like I've seen them before. It feels like... It feels like a sense of familiarity. Um, but what I'm actually seeing with the Six of Cups at the back of the deck is you may have had a past life with this celebrity crush. And as I said that, I just saw 1111 on the timer. So that is confirmation from Spirit. You may have had a past life kind of meeting with the celebrity crush of yours. And I don't necessarily think they were a celebrity in the past life. But I think you could have been friends or something like that. Or you could have just met in some way. Um, I don't feel like you were that close. But I feel like you had met in the past life. And that's what I'm seeing from Spirit. But I also feel like there is a possibility they would just think that but not tell you that. Like, why does this person seem so familiar? There's just something about them I can't put my finger on. Okay, next we have the Two of Pentacles. And we have the Nine of Wands. Maybe they would see you as somebody that has a lot of ambition, like I said before, big dreams, big goals. They see you as a dreamer in how they view you and think of you. And it's almost like they see you as somebody that can have stability of your own, but... Maybe sometimes it's challenging because you have such big dreams and you don't exactly know how to put them into place. Um, that's what your celebrity crush would think of you. Next we have the Six of Swords. It's almost like with the Nine of Pentacles and the Chariot here, it's almost like your celebrity crush would see that you'd be able to overcome challenges around this. That you'd eventually be able to change the situation on your own. 
Um, it's kind of like they view you as you have enough strength to reach your dreams and goals and desires. Because they see you as a dreamer, um, it's almost like they they see that spark within you to be able to actually fulfill those dreams and make them a reality because it's almost like the celebrity crush sees a little bit of themselves in you. They were a dreamer too before they were a celebrity even and a lot of the times people told them that their dreams were too big but they actually reached those dreams so it's it almost feels like maybe what they would be giving you is not a material item but some kind of piece of advice on how to reach your dreams and how to believe in yourself even when nobody else does it would feel like a very empowering conversation like they would try to empower you in some way. We have the Four of Swords. It almost feels like your crush, your celebrity crush, is also very wise and intelligent and would share certain wisdoms with you on how to get there. Your celebrity crush would also see you as somebody very strong and resilient, like maybe you've been through some things in life that you haven't exactly spoken about, but they see you as, they just sense that energy, like you've seen certain things within life, but that you're strong and resilient enough to get through it. They would also think of you as somebody that's a very peaceful type of person, like you value peace in your life and your relationships. They'd also see you as somebody quite genuine and honest, and they'd actually be pretty sad to leave the conversation, but I see them needing to leave the conversation because they're busy um, at the end of the conversation, like they have things to do. And I see them actually being sad because they actually enjoyed your conversation. It's kind of like you just made them feel very relaxed being around you. So they maybe see you as a very relaxed, chilled, laid back type of person. And they actually really like that about you. So this is what your celebrity crush would think of you if you had to meet. I really hope this reading resonated with you, pile number two. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Hi there my pile number threes, if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please consider hitting the subscribe button if you enjoy tarot content and if you want to stay up to date with what I post daily. I am going to be doing a giveaway when I reach 25k subscribers, so if you'd like to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is comment on any of my recent uploads. So you chose the blue Howlite Crystal and the Muse Tarot, we're going to be taking a look at what would your celebrity crush think of you if you had to meet them. So please be aware that this is a general reading, only take what resonates, leave the rest. Let's get started. So spirit guides of pile number three, spirit guides of pile number three, what would their celebrity crush think of them if they had to meet their celebrity crush? So I see the star popping out. I feel like that's the celebrity's energy because I usually see the star as like a celebrity energy. So that also just confirms that we're reading on a celebrity. Nine of Cups reversed. The Five of Cups reversed. The Muse of Materials, which is the King of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Swords. And the Three of Wands in the reverse. So what would your celebrity crush think of you? I think they'd see you as somebody very chatty and talkative. Um, it's almost like they see you as somebody also very intelligent and it shows through your words. It's kind of like they also see you as a good communicator in some way. Somebody that loves to chat and talk. That's what I'm seeing here. And it's also like your celebrity crush would view you and think of you as somebody that is very business minded, that has some kind of gift or talent around you know, business and ideas and making money of some kind in some way. And it's almost like with the Muse of Materials, I won't lie to you, um, 
It's almost like your celebrity crush gets this impression of you that you're quite inspired by them in some way and by the work that they do. But also when you're having a conversation with your celebrity crush, I won't lie that they're quite inspired by you too, by your abilities too that they see straight away. So they're kind of wondering, you know, what do you do for your career? Um, it's kind of like they, they're curious about that. Another thing I may see here is that your celebrity crush may sometimes think of you or just think of you as somebody that doesn't necessarily want fame, doesn't necessarily want to be seen or be in the spotlight. Like you'd rather be successful at something you do, recognized for something you do, but not necessarily being in the spotlight. Maybe you're somebody that needs your own privacy, um... Or maybe you're just somebody that doesn't necessarily care about fame and that's something your celebrity crush would immediately see in you. With the Five of Cups in the reverse, it's sort of like I see this energy intuitively where maybe you're just so happy you want to cry and I just saw 333 three, three as I said that. It's like I see you almost trying to stop those tears because Spirit is showing me a vision of somebody almost about to cry but then they look up and they stop those tears. But it's it's a happy feeling. Like you're just finding it so unbelievable that you're meeting your celebrity crush and I think they would notice that and actually find that quite sweet and cute. So because of that, your celebrity crush may think of you and see you as a person that has a very expressive personality, very expressive face. Like you love to self-express. Um, you don't mind sharing your emotions or expressing your emotions in some way that you're comfortable with them. And that is what your celebrity crush would think of you. Also, I see that if you were to meet your celebrity crush, I see you asking them lots of questions about their work from a place of inspiration. Like, for example, you know, where, when did you think of this song idea or this movie idea, whatever it is that they do it's kind of like you're asking them questions about that and I'm smelling smoke for one or two of you I don't know if one or two of you have a celebrity crush that actually smokes or I don't know what I'm smelling Claire it's it's one of my senses intuitively like an intuitive sense of smoke but there is no smoke in my house um but it's almost like I don't know if I'm smelling cigarettes or weed or what, but I think for some of you, your celebrity crush does smoke and they'd smoke in front of you. Um, anyhow, what I was saying there is you'd ask them something about their work, like how they got that idea or how they implemented that because of being inspired by them. And I feel like your celebrity crush would think of you as a real fan or follower because it's almost like, they see it as some people just um, support them but don't know everything about their work or don't necessarily really appreciate the intricacies of their work that you maybe notice. So it's maybe like you'd notice small little details in their work that were intentional that other fans might not notice and it's almost like they'd see you as like a really huge fan of them like a really real fan, a genuine fan, if that makes sense. Um, not that the other fans aren't real fans, but it's kind of like, oh, you got what I said there. Oh, you got what I put down there. Like that kind of energy. Like you notice that small detail that most people look over. So it's kind of like your celebrity crush would view you as somebody that pays a lot of attention to detail that I actually like that quality about you because your celebrity crush is somebody that pays attention to detail. They can be a little bit perfectionistic at times and hard on themselves at times, but it has helped their work um, come to the state that it is, whatever work they do. With the Three of Wands in the reverse, what am I getting here, Spirit? What is this? As I'm looking at this card, I'm not necessarily looking at the tarot card meaning, but it kind of looks like this effect as I look at the picture and the image of the card like everything's happening super fast so I feel like everything would happen super fast your conversation with them and as I say that I hear a ringing in my right ear so that's confirmation maybe there's other fans that also want to talk to this person and 
it sort of happens very quickly and it's like they wish they could have more time to to really interact with each fan and not have everything go by so fast but that is kind of what I see with the three of wands in reverse so what would their celebrity crush think of them what would their celebrity crush think of them so we have death in the reverse we have the four of pentacles we have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. So it's kind of like a bittersweet feeling like, oh, I wish I could have spoken to that person more. They seemed very interesting. They seemed like they had a lot to say, but we had to cut it short. Um, it almost seems like a missed opportunity here with the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse because it's kind of like they would think, oh, I wish I had more of a longer conversation with them and got to know them more. Um, but now it's passed by and it's sort of like my mind is going back to that. The celebrity crushes mind as I'm in the energy, like their mind is sort of going back to that because the conversation wasn't necessarily completed. It sort of feels like you got interrupted mid-conversation. And that's something I see just in terms of the meeting you would potentially have hypothetically. We have the five of wands in the reverse. We have the three of swords in the reverse. So your celebrity crush would think of you as somebody that does not like conflict, as somebody that is not necessarily materialistic. Your celebrity crush would also think of you as somebody that feels things deeply and doesn't mind showing and expressing that, like I said before. Um, and they think of you as very sentimental, that you like to hold on to different things and that you also maybe find the emotional expression through art in general. Uh, they'd maybe see you as a person that appreciates art because it kind of can be seen as some kind of emotional expression because when you think of a song, for example, you can listen to it and it can sort of bring out a certain emotion in you that you never felt before. So it's sort of like this is how your celebrity crush would think of you, that you're somebody that really appreciates the art form for its, I want to say, healing abilities. Because the way I see art is it can be healing, it can bring wisdom, it can um, help us feel certain things we don't want to feel. And that's kind of the vibe I'm seeing for some of you. If you resonate with that, of course, we have the Six of Pentacles. So your celebrity crush would see you as somebody very generous, somebody that loves to give. You're a real giver, right? We have the Three of Cups. The two of cups in the reverse. So your celebrity crush would not necessarily think that they're your celebrity crush, um, but they are. It's like they wouldn't think that they're your celebrity crush or that you're crushing on them. It's like maybe you don't necessarily show that. That's what I see with the two of cups reversed intuitively. And with the three of cups, it's kind of like they maybe think of you as a type of person that has a lot of friends, that is very extroverted in some way. Whether it's true or not, that's maybe just the first impression they're getting of you. Queen of pentacles reversed. Again, you're not much of a materialistic person or too much like caring about you know, material items because you find your happiness and fulfillment in other ways. And it's sort of like the celebrity crush admires that about you because they have noticed themselves that, you know, the celebrity life isn't all that it seems. It's almost like your celebrity crush has this epiphany, like before they meet you even, but it's sort of like you know, it's not all glitz and glamour as it seems. A lot of hard work goes into it. A lot a lot of things that happen that we don't necessarily see in the public. I don't know what that means, but it's almost like it's not as glitz and glam as it seems. Um, even the happiness, you you won't necessarily feel fulfilled fully from just fame and money. So it's almost like your celebrity crush has come to those realizations themselves and has seen that. We have the Queen of Wands reverse. So your celebrity crush would think of you as somebody very humble, very down to earth, and they love that about you. 
they actually really like that about you because it's very rare for them to meet down-to-earth people it's like in that world seven of swords at the back of the deck as I say this um there's a lot of egotistical people people with big heads so it's like it's it's like a breath of fresh air to meet somebody down to earth humble you know um in some way not in a bad way but in a good way we have the page of wands um it's almost like your celebrity crush views fame as something that has the potential to get to somebody's head so you have to be very strong to be in the public eye to not to not let that influence you in that way. Um, we have the Emperor in reverse. So it's not like they're judging the other celebrities, but it's just something they've noticed is what I'm hearing from Spirit. We have Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Six of Swords. The Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. It's like your celebrity crush views you as somebody that constantly changes and switches things up. Like, maybe you're not much of a person that likes routine. Like, you like to switch things up. Maybe you're not much of a organized person, but you like to have spontaneity. You like to express yourself. They would see you as very independent, self-sufficient, and they'd also see you as somebody with creative potential yourself. Like you have a creative mind, an innovative mind, a mind that thinks outside of the box. They'd also see you as somebody very unique. Like they've never met anybody like you per se. And I'm also hearing whimsical. They would see you as somebody that doesn't necessarily just want to work to make money, but wants to do something you're passionate about. Something that changes your life in some way with that passion you feel for what you do. Almost like burns your soul on fire in a good way is what I'm hearing. We have the Four of Cups in the reverse. The Temperance card in the reverse. And the Magician in the reverse. The High Priestess in the reverse is at the back of the deck. Do you know what I'm getting here? It's like your celebrity crush um, thinks certain things of you or has certain opinions of you, but they're not really sure if it's true. It's like they're kind of doubting themselves. They're kind of doubting if they're just making this up about you in their head or if this is the true you because like I said it's almost like your conversation goes by so fast so they're thinking you know maybe was I seeing things clearly um was I wrong about it like I don't really know so this person's kind of doubting their their sort of gut feelings about you and who, the type of person you are where they're not really sure if their perception of you is accurate Another thing I will say here is maybe your celebrity crush sees you as the type of person that kind of has had certain people around you. They just get this vibe from you that have tried to like manipulate you or hurt you. People around you that just were impatient with you, that didn't necessarily treat you in the best way and that you didn't deserve that. I don't know. They just kind of get that vibe from you. So this is what I have for you pile number three. I really hope this reading resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Hi there my pile number fours. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please consider hitting the subscribe button if you like tarot content and if you would like to support the channel and stay up to date with what I post daily. I am going to be doing a giveaway when I reach 25k subscribers for you all. So if you'd like to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is comment on any of my recent uploads. So you chose the strawberry, strawberry obsidian crystal and the queer tarot. We're going to be taking a look at what would your celebrity crush think of you if you had to meet them. So let's get started with your reading. Please only take what resonates, leave the rest. So spirit guides of pile number four, spirit guides of pile number four, what would their celebrity crush think of them if they had to meet them? We have strength showing up first. 
What would their celebrity crush think of them if they had to meet them? Do you know what I'm seeing clairvoyantly? <laughs> um, I'm seeing the kind of meeting you have where it's sort of like, let's say you're having an unexpected meeting with this person. I'm not seeing a meet and greet. I'm not seeing anything where any other fans are around. I'm sort of seeing a situation where maybe you coincidentally, hypothetically bump into each other at the same place. And I I almost see them in a, a disguise because Spirit is showing me a temperance. Spirit is showing me a vision of a celebrity I once saw where uh, she was in disguise at the airport when I used to work at the airport and I recognized her but I was like I didn't want to make a scene even though I was excited to see her and Spirit is taking me back to that vision so it's sort of like Spirit is taking me to a club or a pub or somewhere where you're like dancing and having fun or like more of a public area where you're having fun maybe even on holiday or something. I'm just seeing something about having fun, a very crowded area and this person's in a disguise and you recognize them and you so sort of coincidentally bump into them. But I'm also seeing a place where there's like drinks, like a bar. I'm seeing that clairvoyantly. So it's almost like you say hi to this person and you whisper like, are you so and so and they're like yes but please be quiet like I don't want everybody to almost chase after me um, and recognize me and I kind of see you chatting with them a little bit which is so cool this is such a cool reading so far we have the emperor I see you even taking a photo with them we have the nine of pentacles or at least asking to we have the world in the reverse and we have the seven of pentacles. So it almost seems like they're there. I want to say in that city or in that place for work. But it's like they're going on a night out or going out for fun at the moment. But it's like the next day maybe they have to get back to work. So it's like with the world in reverse, it's like they don't want to end the sort of... um encounter you have with them so quickly but it's almost like they have to get back home and prepare for the next day or something like that or get back home early so that they can wake up early so I see something like that more so like late at night kind of vibe like where you're out and having fun and it's sort of like this experience excites you so much like what a coincidence that you just bump into your favorite celebrity that's really, really cool. So in terms of what your celebrity crush would think of you if you had to meet, I see that they would see you as a very strong person. They'd see you also as very loyal because there's something about you actually listening to them and saying, like, please don't, in them saying, please don't, like, be too loud about my identity because I don't want people to recognize me. And then you're actually quiet about it. And you're not you're not getting mad at them or upset with at them or anything like that. And it's sort of like because of that, they view you as a very loyal person. They view you as a person that can keep a secret, a trustworthy person is what I'm seeing here. They also view you maybe as somebody that has gone through a lot within life, but you still try to find ways to keep your peace, to to kind of like alchemize and heal from that pain you've been through in life. It's kind of like they just sense that you've been through something in life before, but that you're a very strong and resilient person and nothing can necessarily defeat you. They may even view you as a person that has a huge heart, a huge capacity to love and that, you know, it's it's sort of like they see you being out with people close to you, like your friends, and it's like they... They view it as your friends are very lucky to have a person like you so loyal, somebody that can keep a secret, somebody that, you know, has good intentions. And that's kind of the way they think of you and see you. I see your celebrity crush at this point of time where you're sort of having this hypothetical meeting. I see them being very busy and needing to sort of create their own independence. Um, I don't know what that's about, but I see them trying to be more independent, trying to do work on their own rather than 
through any type of company or label or anything like that. I see them trying to go the independent route. So it's a lot of hard work for them. And like I said, it's like they don't want to cut the meeting short or the encounter short, but they have to take care of certain responsibilities. So I see your crush being somebody very responsible and somebody that takes their work seriously, really puts in a lot of hard work and efforts into their work. Doesn't just like do it for one day and be like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> like I see your uh, celebrity crush really sees their work as a reflection of them, uh, really respects their work to put in more to put in more effort than the usual person. So I see something about that. If some of you have tattoos, and if your celebrity crush has tattoos, because I'm looking at these tattoos here and this here, it's not going to resonate with everybody, but it's sort of like I see maybe you complimenting their tattoos or them complimenting your tattoos, if you have tattoos and they don't. So I'm seeing something about tattoos showing up in some way for somebody here. Not for everybody, but for somebody here. Your celebrity crush also would see you as somebody very vibrant, very outgoing, very fun. But at the same time, you have this chilled, relaxed, peaceful, calm, patient nature about you. We have the King of Wands showing up next. Your celebrity crush would see you as somebody that's very passionate about them and their work. They'd see you as somebody that's very curious about them, you know, like wanting to know them more with the Page of Swords. And I think your celebrity crush would like your personality, honestly. They'd see you as a lot of fun with the Four of Wands here. Um, they maybe even see you as the type of person that wants marriage wants um, kids of your own in some way and they may also see you as somebody that kind of like does go outside of the box like you're not one to be put in a box that's what I'm getting here we have the four of pentacles so your celebrity crush would view you as somebody that's a lot of fun but equally as responsible so it's like let's say you're going out on a night out with your friends you know, you know when to stop, for example, drinking, or you know when to stop spending money, you know, like, it's, it's you still having fun, but you still knowing your sense of responsibility. So that's what they see in you. Uh, in your first encounter, we have the page of pentacles, maybe your crush sees you, your celebrity crush sees you as either a lot younger than them, or either, if you're not younger than them, then there's something about you having this youthful spirit. Uh, regardless of your age, there's something about you either looking youthful or having a youthful spirit, okay? They also think of you as somebody that has a thirst for knowledge, that loves to learn different things, very smart. We have the Three of Swords, so heartbreak, pain. It's like they've, they kind of just sense that you've been through heartbreak or pain before. Next, we have the Page of Wands. So you have all three pages. It's like they see you as yeah, like this person with this childlike spirit. And it's not in a bad way. It's not like they see you as childish. It's more so you know how to appreciate having fun. You know how to also let your inner child out and play. It's like that's what they see in you. And they they maybe also see you as somebody with a big imagination, somebody that's also very expressive, somebody that has a lot of good innovative ideas. I hear we have the three of pentacles. They just get that vibe from you, the empress. So it's sort of like they see you as somebody with a set group of friends where these are like your best friends. And it's almost like they see a lot of love between you and these friends. Uh, a lot of loyalty, a lot of you just working together well as friends, okay? We have the star and the queen of swords. So the thing is with the star and the queen of swords, it's like everybody wants to talk to the star, to the celebrity. Everybody wants to communicate with them. Mm. And they also want to too the celebrity crush of yours, they also want to too, but it's almost like they view it as sometimes there's not enough time to be able to talk to every fan and get to know every fan. So sometimes they feel a little bit bad, like I'd love to get to know my fans more. I'd love to 
be able to have more time to get to know each one of them and speak to them more because I can tell you that this celebrity crush of yours really enjoys speaking to their fans genuinely like it's not just a thing of oh I have to speak to my fans because I'm a celebrity and I have to be nice it's it's like a genuine thing of I love getting to know my fans I love speaking to them I love seeing the different fans I have seeing their personality types you know just getting to know them genuinely next we have the three of cups in the reverse the hanged man yeah it's kind of like I wish I had more time to speak to you to get to know you and your friends more because I kind of see you bumping into them and then your friends kind of coming along later and talking to you but then it's it's something like that going on um we have the chariot here which to me in this case could represent travel like I feel like your celebrity crush is constantly traveling and that's pretty normal for a celebrity we have the lovers we have the five of wands in the reverse so again because you're because you're somebody that sort of like respected their boundary that they gave you of like please don't tell everybody I'm here it's sort of like when people notice that there it causes a ruckus it causes a lot of chaos where everybody wants like a piece of them and although they understand that like these fans love them sometimes it can be a bit much dealing with that and then they have to move areas so I'm seeing for this celebrity crush when people find out where they are they have to move areas where they're at like they have to they have to travel somewhere else so that they're not seen in some way and with the lovers here it's kind of like again they view you as very loyal very trustworthy somebody that like really cares for them really cares for their wishes you know those types of things a loving person in general okay what else how does the celebrity crush view them what does the celebrity crush think of them we have the ten of swords we have the queen of wands and we have the moon <laughs> okay so I'm seeing something here that they may not tell you ace of swords in the reverse at the back of the deck um I feel like your celebrity crush would find you attractive and I mean the moon is here which is something they're keeping secret the ten of swords is here which is like I don't know I'm getting this intuitive feeling of like I shouldn't be feeling this way um and then the lovers to me represents like some kind of romantic attraction the ace of wands kept popping out during your reading and I kept seeing attraction 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 but I also didn't want to say anything in case I was wrong um but it's coming out again here so spirit is not letting me leave this message by it's like your celebrity crush would view you as physically attractive in some way romantically attractive in some way like your personality too but I don't think they'd necessarily pursue something because it would just get too complicated I don't know I'm just hearing that from spirit I sort of feel like they'd also like want to run because they know they have certain feelings there that they're not supposed to feel in their eyes so this is what I have for you pile four I really hope this reading resonated with you please don't forget to like comment subscribe thank you for watching and I'll see you next time